It's day two of the Halema Mutlante Foundation Forum that is taking place here in Drakensbeck. And of course, a lot of issues that affect South Africa are coming under discussion. Issues of the economy, growth, and of course, the central bank. Uh, to bring into that topic, we are now joined by the Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank, Fundi Chazibana. Um, you, um, part of the panel discussion earlier, discussing the issue of a payment system and the importance of uh, the payment system and its infrastructure in terms of carrying this economy. Just share with us what actually t came about. Yeah, the payment system is an important contributor to how we move money around inside South Africa and also with counterparts in the continent and in the rest of the world. So this morning I was sharing with the panel some of the reforms that we are making to make sure that our payment system that we have in our country keeps up with the changing payments, continues to be accessible to the South African public, plus also how on the continent we are supporting regional payments and the progress that we have made with the SADC uh, regional payment system and future work that we're doing to support the Africa intra, uh, intra trade through expanding the connection between all of the regional payment systems. At present, SADC has its own, East Africa has its own, West Africa has its own, and we are seeking working through the Association of African Central Banks to bring all of the three regional payment systems. Hopefully it improves your costs and you start to see the benefits of this for trade. How soon can we see this? Uh, so central banks work, work slowly but we do that in order to make sure that there are no interoperability issues. Meaning we don't want to say to you, it's going to be on tomorrow, but when you go and swipe your card, that's not possible. So the plan is we start the work now, we're moving towards 2023, 2026, apologies. But as we are moving forward towards 2026, we have to check, is this working? Are the systems talking to each other in the right way? Are we ready? So we will continually be reporting on the progress that we're making, but we're not going to rush too quickly to say, here's a system if the system has challenges. One of the issues that came out is the enormous amount of money that is in circulation in, in South Africa. It's a concern. Um, and you, you said that you are trying to deal with it. Just give us uh, figures in terms of how much are we talking about and what's the impact on the economy? Yes. So the Cash in circulation in South Africa ranges anything from 160 billion rands to 180 billion rands at different points in time. Uh, and that, that does present a number of challenges. For, in, for us as individuals, but also for businesses, it also limits the types of transactions that we can interact with. It also presents an, a set of vulnerabilities because when you lose your cash, you have lost your cash, as opposed to the cash being in an electronic wa wallet or some other form of payment. So what we're seeking to do is to reduce the amount of cash uh, that we use today to day by having payment platforms and payment mechanisms that are accessible uh, to all, all of us in society and to allow us to make the payments that we need to make. Now, that means that traditionally we are used to payments that go through the banking system. We are looking to allow more non-banking uh, users to become users of the payment system and to also have payment mechanisms that talk to the t type of small payments that you might need if you're an informal trader at a point in time so that we have a full range of, of payments mechanisms. And I'm sure that breeds a lot of criminal um, elements as well. Uh, there is that. You will recall that there have been endless conversations that happen about how much cash is crossing the border, who is keeping track of that. That is uh, the responsibility of the revenue authorities. But between us, uh, I think this is a body of work that we have to get done. As you know, we also move a lot of cash in transit. Uh, and that has been also a topical area in terms of how do we secure the cash. So if we were to have uh, less cash in the system, we would certainly have all of those resources available to allow us to do more more things. And we would be able to track what is the cash doing uh, in the economy at present. And I think that having just cash moving around doesn't give us that ability to, to track what is the money doing.